love the fact that if I look over here, I see people networking, I see people watching videos, I see people looking through different resources together across sectors. I like the idea of the stations. That, that, that I find is very interesting. I don't get bored, I don't get tired, I don't get frustrated. I like to move around like we do. Uh, I like the idea of expressing our ideas. We're having discussions about paradigm, cultural paradigm shifts in schools, how to reach all students, student autonomy, um, giving students, empowering them, giving back control to your classroom, recognizing and appreciating diversity. I don't care if they can't, they don't remember what Pythag who Pythagoras was, what the Pythagorean theorem was, if they can do the quadratic formula, or if they remember what a vector is in physics. I don't care. I want them to be able to realize what their brain is, how it works, and how to pro, um, be positive and productive and proactive members of society. And I think that's what a teacher really is. It really doesn't matter whether they can label an animal cell in the future for me, because they're doing that now, but they, whether they will remember me as that person that helped them realize that they are worth it, that they are, that they can contribute to society and not just sit on their mom's couch eating pizza. <laughs> well, the, the idea is that trying to find a solution to something like, like they have in different areas of their, their classrooms or the students is, is always advantageous to me when it comes to these networking sessions like this. I think that they really appreciate today the fact that they're able to just come here and speak with other people about their practice and to be able to make connections and that they're not just sitting here and listening to somebody tell them about the new greatest thing that they could do in their classroom. I believe that if you want to be a lifelong learner, you need to learn to trust yourself as well as to trust the facilitator of that learning. So whether it be a teacher or whether it be a workshop coordinator or whether it be a tool that you're using to help you understand anything better, uh, trust is a, is, is a big element and, uh, you know, and, and being able to trust yourself and, and anything else is, is, a, is a big key. Professional development for me, uh, maybe I'm not, you know, I, I, I'm sure people share this opinion, but it's often you walk away with uh, a lot of information. It's hard to digest. It's just sitting there in your head. You're exhausted and you need a mental escape sort of thing. This one is sort of a lit a fire, got me thinking, uh, got me more energetic intellectually. I'm in, more intellectually curious about some things I've heard today. Um, and, I, and I believe because we're sharing these things, I believe that, that that's the solution when we think of barriers we can't cross and impermeable walls and obstacles. A lot of that is contrived. A lot of that's self-inflicted. We believe that that's in the way of our ability to do something. But then you hear someone else tell you that they're doing what you thought was impossible. And that's transcendent.